Hello. Hopefully, you're here today because you have an interest in Capitol Lake, a very prominent water feature in downtown Olympia. And if you've been a part of this community, even for just a handful of years, you've probably heard about the endless and long-term battle over what to do with the system. Either keep it all lake and have to clean it up, or get rid of the lake and restore a free-flowing estuary. Today, in this presentation, we're going to talk about a third option, one that is a compromise between the two extremes of all lake and all estuary, where we make both. There is currently an environmental impact statement underway to determine the future outcome of Capital Lake with three alternatives, all estuary, all lake, or a hybrid having both. The hybrid alternative, which we refer to as DELI, or dual estuary lake idea, proposes building an impoundment wall within the northern basin to enclose a new, smaller lake supplied by an abundance of clean artesian groundwater. Then, the remaining 85% of the existing capital lake would be restored to a fully functioning estuary. The beauty of this compromised hybrid solution is that both sides of the all lake and all estuary argument will get most of what they want. The all lake folks will get a clean, swimmable lake up against Heritage Park, and that will act as a reflecting pool for the Capitol Dome, while the All Estuary folks will get the vast majority of the existing lake restored to tidal flows. That's a win-win for both sides. Now, within the EIS process, the Delhi concept has not been given a fair shake. All analysis was focused on proving why a freshwater lake option within a hybrid alternative would not work, as opposed to just honestly evaluating whether or not it would. First, it was said that a groundwater permit would be too difficult to obtain. Then, when that was proven to be untrue, it was said that the new lake would take 38 million gallons a day to keep it clean. Finally, when confronted with the fact that such a replenishment rate would be over 100 times the replenishment rate of the naturally fed groundwater lakes in Thurston County, they closed the EIS process to outside review and would not release their data. That was over a year and a half ago. So within the EIS process, they will evaluate a brackish basin option instead of the freshwater lake proposed by Delhi. Why such a thing happened is open to speculation, but state and federal natural resource agencies do both want the all estuary alternative and may be afraid that if a freshwater lake option within a hybrid alternative were fairly presented to the public, most people would be for it. And trust me, such fear is not unfounded. For over a year, the Delhi concept was, was presented to the public through various venues, and the vast majority of folks thought it was the perfect solution to end this long-term battle over what to do with Capital Lake. Everybody wins, everybody's happy, and this community can finally come together to actually get something done. And that is the whole point of Delhi, to end this endless battle in our community and actually get something done. If either the all estuary alternative or the all lake alternative move on in the EIS process to become the preferred alternative, nothing will actually get built because the two sides will fight the same stalemate battle that they have fought for over decades. In closing, unless and until the entire community of Olympia can come together to support one plan for Capital Lake, Funding to design and build something will never happen because politicians do not spend tens of millions of taxpayer dollars on something that half the community will loathe when complete. Delhi is a compromise where everybody wins, and it is the only way the Deschutes estuary will ever get restored. Thank you for your time today. To comment or to see the full Delhi design and proposal, please visit the Facebook page Delhi dash dual estuary lake idea or the facebook group do the deli thank you again